Whoa, far out, dude. Are you James Chadwick? I sure am, young chap. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. Wh what? You don't believe me? How dare you? Uh. Well, you were the one that asked me in the first place. Oh, right, dude, I forgot. You're gonna have to totally prove it, man. Okay, ask me anything your stupid little brain desires. Uh, how did you discover the, 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 oh, what, the Neutron, yeah, that's it. How did you discover it, man? Oh, okay, well, that's easy. Let me tell you a little story that you might not be able to comprehend. Everything in the world is made up of objects. Duh. And each of these objects are made up of tiny molecules. Millions of little particles that make up these objects. Wow. And then the molecules are made up of even smaller particles known as atoms. These atoms are made up of even smaller particles known as subatomic particles. Far out! My colleague Ernest Rutherford had discovered that there were protons, which were positively charged, and electrons, which were negatively charged, that existed in the atom. Yeah, I learned about that in science class, man. Of course you did. Now, you see, this is where I came into play. See, the weight of an atom was often a lot more than the weight of protons plus the weight of electrons. And I wondered, I thought to myself, what is the missing particle? After numerous experiments, I discovered that this particle was the neutron, and it had no charge whatsoever. This was a very important discovery indeed. Any atom could be split by a neutron. A breakthrough of this magnitude allowed me to earn the Nobel Peace Prize. <gasps> what was the prize? What? Uh, never mind.